Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Let's Play world. Ah, uh huh? Ah, uh -huh. a little trophy room of what we're doing here. We didn't find amethyst here, but we're finding all this emerald, that's for sure. So this is what I've been working on, this little room here. And I also have this room. This is going to be where I'm going to have the giant pile of emerald, which I probably shouldn't do in this form. So I need to go break down. <laughs> yeah, so much I have. Let's see how much we get from all of this. Just over three stacks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and 21 emerald blocks. Nice. Oh, this is so sad. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe this is why I don't have a bunny farm back at home. It just doesn't feel right. How did I only get 10 cooked? What? This is why it's not worth it, really. <laughs> I only got 10 cooked rabbit out of that. So yeah, as you saw, my method of collecting emerald is just kind of running around the mountains and, well, collecting them. And all of that, you saw, was only from a little section far off over that way. There's still... <laughs> God, I still have so much to do. And I've been using rockets to get up there. I don't really care about that. It just takes longer to scale that part and then forget where you're going. So what I do is I use a telescope. I spot it. I look right at it and then fly up there and collect it, which is what I'm going to do here. I guess I'll just start collecting it in this form. I have to say, this right here, all that I dug out was all coal. Can you believe that? <laughs> all coal. And I got two stacks of coal. I think that's the most coal I've ever gotten from an ore vein. Obviously, I'm using Fortune 3, but two stacks of coal from one ore vein. That's a record for me. Ooh, found some blue ice. Oh, I think this blue ice is it, or is this packed? Wait, what? Yeah, it's blue. No, it's packed. <laughs> Wait, what? That looks very much like blue ice. Okay, I wanna take some though. I need some creepers. That's so wild to turn around and see. <laughs> Especially when you're in a desert. Okay. You know, there's a thing in Minecraft. I think Fortune 3 should obviously give you more drops, but see, that's zero for two. I think it should also make it where the mob will always drop a drop, you know, even if it's just one. Oh, she gave me gunpowder. All right, so we got 13 more emerald blocks and 41 ore. So another good way to mine for emerald is obviously just to go near my beacon and just mine horizontally. It's pretty nice. Uh, got almost a stack so far out of this area. Destroyed your pick pretty quick though. You know what's nice about this mountain biome though is that no other ore is spawned. I think it's a problem though right now. Like they want to add it in, but right now all you do is just get cobblestone and ore. <laughs> it's kind of nice. My pick's about to break though, so I don't know if it's too effective. Alright, I want to put a roof on this uh, for the outside. It looks kind of bare. I don't know what I'm going to do back here. I guess it's just part of the mining section. Uh, this is all the iron I've collected while I've been out here. That's quite a lot. Well then again, these mountains are littered with emeralds, coal, and iron. Wait, what? Oh, it's right there. Hopefully that'll be enough. So this room right here is kind of... Round. I didn't actually expect it to poke out of the mountain and be visible, but I came out here and I looked at it and I was like, okay, that actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> oh, die, die. <laughs> so I need... Huh. Ugh. I guess we're just going to cover it like this. It's probably going to look weird, but whatever. Does this look weird? <laughs> it feels like it. it just looks weird. No, okay. Actually, well, it kind of does. Okay, yeah. Well, no. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my, my tree grew. <laughs> Just now noticed it. Maybe we should put some of these right here. Well, I guess I'm my own prisoner because this is the only place I sleep here. <laughs> so I'm starting to build this scaffolding. I think it'll look pretty cool. I'm going to be using bamboo, mainly 
oak planks and stairs. And I want this to scale all the way up the side of the mountain up to my little mine up there. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go home and get more bam or scaffolding because I'm almost out. Well, I only have a stack. Okay, I'm just going to go up as far as I can and see how it looks. I have like these holes everywhere now, and I was wondering how on earth this could have possibly happened. And I realized I actually broke an ice block up there, and it made all the, what do you call it? Powdered snow melt away. That's rather annoying. <laughs> but I think this is actually looking really cool. Because once it goes all the way up the side of the mountain, and I actually can use it to get up there instead of wasting all my rockets. I like it. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this base. I've had a hard time making new bases and actually enjoying them, but this one's just fun, you know? Probably because it's a new extreme biome and it's kind of actually challenging me to do different things, such as mining. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, I like that. I kind of want to do that all over the place, all over these mountains. Actually, I probably will because we want to get to a high spot and then kind of dig our way down Let's see how fast we can make it up this. We've trained for this, right? Right? We've got a training course back at home that I haven't touched in a very long time. <laughs> Remember our death course we were supposed to make? You know what? Maybe we should do that next. Next episode? Well, no, I wouldn't do that soon. I still gotta plan it out and everything. Huh, it's tough. Oh, I got this though. Uh, look at me go. Uh, come on. No, I'm in the elytra mode. I hate that. Ugh. That's the only thing I hate about scaffolding. When you're wearing elytras, it always messes you up. All right, time. That do good? <laughs> yeah. Sorry for getting mad at you guys earlier. I didn't mean to kill half of you. <clears throat> I'm placing my banners down, and this is the first place this banner actually makes sense. Then it looks perfect out here, right? Here's the mountain. And the skies are always like really blue because you don't see clouds. You wanna know how to make that banner? John Smith. <laughs> it's a painting. Where should I put this one? Here? No. I guess we can go upstairs here and finally make this map. Um yeah, right here. Oh, wait, I forgot to, oh I forgot to finish the place. Up here. Oh gosh. It's all snowed in. Oh crap. Can I even get out the store? Oh I can. What should I do up here? What should this be? It's mainly a lookout tower, but you still can't even see over the mountain, so it's not even worth it. <laughs> huh, I might keep it open like that, kind of like it. All right, let's get this map done. As you can see, I already got the first one. I wonder how much will change. Did I do a lot? Oh, kinda. Where's my hand? I don't have a hand. I lost my hand. Or I'm using the force to hold the map up. That's it. Okay, I'm starting to realize how hard this is actually going to be. Because you can't really see much of the mountains in these. It's just ice and snow. <laughs> Why am I not unlocking? I'm going this way. How come I'm not unlocking that? The corner. What? I'm so confused. Oh. Oh, it's this way. Oh, it's orientated differently. <laughs> um... But I'm going to have a hard time judging when to create a new map. Well, I guess that's sort of the reason why there are locator maps. Um, so if I want, you just do it like that. Map that shows players. Cool. Why is there two of us on here, huh? Why is that? It's like right on top of my portal. Whatever, okay. Hmm. What is that green thing? What is that? Is that like a different... Bond? Is that like a little tiny taiga in the middle of- I gotta go check- oh look, emerald. <laughs> it's like somewhere down there. Ow, 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 ow. Oh man, I just want to jump right in. <gasps> okay, that's dangerous. Don't do that. Oh look, the clouds are right there. Oh my gosh. What? Whoa. I'm getting distracted, but I don't care. I'm an adventurer. Here we go. Ow. Oh my god, what the heck? You see that pit? That's a big pit. I'm going right in. I can't see anything. Huh. Oh, it's ice. Wow. Oh, look. Diorite. Oh, it's below the 
mountain though. Look at this. This is a really cool ice cave. Oh wait. Yeah, can I like break down? I wonder if this goes deep. Oh, it's, oh. It's just continuous ice. Interesting. Whoa, what the heck? Uh-oh, where's the lights? <gasps> oh, I can't see. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to drown for a second. This is a pretty cool place. Got another hole, ooh, with emerald. Spotted more, do you see him? Do you see him? Oh, I bet you do, it's right there. <laughs> That's the thing, like I use my telescope a lot, but you can also, uh, this emerald sticks out quite a bit. I love the new texture for it because it's so much more visible. Um, so that's kind of what I do. Just kind of stop and scan the area for a second. Oh, there's more, jeez, it's just everywhere. And I feel like I've already been over here and mined it all, but I haven't. All right, hopefully I got this right. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, ooh, if we need, if we have constant lighting around it, you can actually see the mountain. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? All oh, that area. Yeah, I'm gonna recreate this and bring this back home too. I don't like that there's two green. Why? See, I made all of these locator maps as well, so why don't they have the little cursors on them? And this has two of them? I'm just now learning the lodestone has its own sound. Listen. <laughs> it's strange. Well, I can finally put this down, go ahead and put a compass on it. And I need to name this compass. That's how that works, right? And then, I hope so. It will always lead here? Good. <laughs> well, y'all, I guess I'm going to head back to the old house. Not permanently. We're going to still work out here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this bitch and put it in the vault. <laughs> Almost a stack. We could probably reach a sack, to be honest, with all this in here. I also have all of this. I could take those, but I like him being on display. Oh, do I have enough paper? I want to remake these. I have... So oh, wait, is that enough? This place is abandoned. I saw something interesting, though. Just a chest out here. Did I do this? I had to have, right? Yeah, okay. Dang it. <laughs> Ah, uh, what did I find this? This is, must be old. I <laughs> saw this little lake thing, or not even lake, pond, not even that puddle. And then look at this. This is actually really cool. I don't know why I would, this is, if I were to make an underwater, oh, there's a baby, <laughs> an underwater base, this would probably be it right here. Imagine putting a conduit down here. I like that. I've killed like 10 creepers and only got four gunpowder with the looting three sword. That, uh, I deserve that. What is that down there? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's some big ones. I feel like they still have so much to perfect in Bedrock. They've had years to do it in Java, but they don't really have years to do it in Bedrock. They just add it and say, good. There it is. <laughs> I feel that's what it feels like at least because some stuff in this game is just like very odd feeling. Such as uh, underwater on. Oh, hey. Wait, why? <laughs> underwater ambience. Go underwater in Java. It sounds amazing. Go underwater in here, like right now. Nothing. Not one single sound. <laughs> ambience plays a big role in video games. That's for sure. All right, I might as well go get my beacon because I'm probably going to start on some projects back at home and I might need it. I don't want to leave it out here. <laughs> it's a lot of gold. All right, I hope I won't die from this. <laughs> that would suck. Ooh. Just running through, making sure I got everything right. Uh-huh, yeah, looks good. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not like leaving this place forever. It may seem like that. We'll come back here and mine some more emerald when we need it and well, maybe build some more out here. I'm gonna leave all this emerald here. I mean, it's just a little bit. It makes it look cool. <laughs> uh, good, good, we good? Anything in here? Oh, oh, it's a fresh anvil. Ah, I can leave it, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, we're good. Get this in here. Um, I guess we can leave the snow boots here, of course. So those on. We'll be back, mountains. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and answer today's question of the day, which comes from Mercer Gray. Wait, isn't that the leader of the Thieves Guild in Skyrim? No, or is that Mercer Frey? I can't remember now. <laughs> Will you ever post on your vlog channel? I really liked it. Yeah, so um, if you didn't notice, I've always had a vlog channel link down in my description. Ooh, should I kill off the rabbits? No, they'll be fine. And I was really hyped to get that channel started, and I only have three videos on there. If you're curious what my face looks like, you can go over there. Although, now that I look back at those videos, they're kind of cringy. <laughs> but, and 20,000 of you subscribed to that channel, just about, and uh, it makes me so sad that I just kind of let a lot of you down. And I've been wanting to, like, upload on that channel, but right when I made that channel, it started becoming winter, and I couldn't do a whole lot of stuff outside. And now that I just got a brand new camera that's really nice and the weather's starting to get nicer, I'm going to be going on a lot of motorcycle trips. I have a GoPro set up for my helmet. I can talk in my helmet while I'm riding so you can hear me. I can do moto vlogs. Uh, I actually still have one moto vlog. You know what? I'm going to work on that today. I'm ready to upload. I'm going to upload it to that channel. It's, it's basically me exploring my old childhood town, which I still live in, but my, like, my old neighborhood and me doing a bunch of other stuff in that video. I really need to upload that. Okay, here we go. But uh, thank you everyone for watching today's episode. Oh, I hate it when the chunks do this in the nether. Uh, I'm going to head back home and who knows what we're going to work on next. Hopefully it's interesting. It most likely will be. I have some ideas brewing, as usual. Oh god, this looks dangerous. Oh god, just low chunks. See you guys there. Bye bye.